guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing like a sunset vibe it's honestly my go-to because the colors always look great and they really just brighten up your face and it's a good way to just go out to dinner with this look or just take pics in this look whatever you want but i'm going to start off using my hemp moisturizing cream this is the one i use to moisturize my face Okay, I'm gonna go in with shade 14 in my favorite concealer of all time, Juvia's. Okay, so I'm going to be using the same thing I've been using, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and it has SPF 30 in it. Hello. I'm going to go in and set my under eyes. This is like my biggest step because under my eyes I need it to look pristine so this is when I go really quick with my powder and like this is my go-to brush for setting under eyes I just love that it like swirls I don't know I'm so weird but it just makes me excited so I just make sure I have enough here and I really just set it I don't bake because I feel like that really takes away from the brightness of your eye. So after I go ahead and I do that, I right away set it. So there's no creasing or anything like that. And then anywhere that I've missed, or if I need a little more on the eyelid, definitely since I put concealer up there, it creases there. So... Okay, so we're gonna start the eyeshadow portion. And like I said, we're gonna do like sunset vibes. And this palette is honestly everything you need for the summer. Like it has the orangey tones, the brown tones, like you have the shimmer and you have the black in case you don't wanna do like eyeliner one day. You can just go in and just color your eye with the black to do like that smoked out eyeliner look. And then you don't have to use your liquid but I really do like this palette. It has everything you need and you can do it in the summer, you can do it for Valentine's Day or just if you're feeling like red vibes. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with the color Brick. It's like a nice base to get an orange going on your eye and just get this in your crease to build some definition. go ahead and get this orange it's more orangey than this one but it's brighter too and this one is called terracotta um or is it a blaze <laughs> it's a blaze <laughs> just kidding i just really wanted to say terracotta i don't know what that is but it sounds like it's good
Okay, after we are done putting in the orange base, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a browner base just to make the eye a little bit darker. And this is if you want like something more nighttime and something a little bit more dramatic. So I'm in the mood for that. So I'm gonna go ahead with the color Rich, which is more of a brown color right here. But they're still all in the same kind of undertone shades so it's all gonna match really well and i'm gonna go ahead right in the crease where i was before and put it just to make it a little bit darker and then again on under the eyes and it's just gonna darken it up and make it a little bit more dramatic but it's not like you're going in with black or anything crazy and honestly, I feel like adding a little bit more red. So I'm going to go ahead with fire. And I'm just going to add this towards the outside too. To just make it more of a sunset vibe. And I love creating looks with like reds and crazier colors because I feel like everyone sticks to the browns and the nudes which i also love a good brown but sometimes you just want a little pop so after i've gone in with the red i'm gonna go in with the shimmery orange and i'm gonna start working it towards my eyelid and this one is in the color sauce is that sauce is that sauce all right so i'm gonna start working it into my eyelid but keeping it in the outer corner because I like to add really light colors in my inner eyelid. So on the outside, we're just going to work that shimmery orange. And I know you can't see it right now, but when it all comes together, you'll definitely be able to see it. So now for the inner, I'm going to go ahead with one of my favorite shimmery colors because it's not crazy. It's called Pure. And I'm going to use more of a flatter brush. And this I'm going to put on my eyelid towards my inner corner. And that's going to give it the pop that you need. It's going to brighten your eye and it's going to restore the colors back into your look. So I love a good shimmer. But I decided I'm going to go in with the color Universal. And I'm just going to blend this onto my brow bone just to add more of a matte color up there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my wing. But I'm going to go in with my favorite highlight. It's Fenty Beauty. And this one's in Hustler, baby. And it's just amazing. I love the way it just adds everything. It makes everything just tying together in the end. So I love Inner Corner Shimmer. That is like my favorite go-to. It adds so much to the eye. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead with my favorite contour palette of the year. Don't love the price, but I love the way it it does what it does. Kim K was doing something. When she did this, she was doing something. So I'm going to go ahead. This is My shade is medium, so if you have skin like me, get the medium because it'll be perfect. But I go ahead. As you can tell, I've used it a lot with the brown because this is going to start bronzing you and preparing you for the actual contour. So... So after I build like a nice little subtle bronzy shade on my cheeks, I'm going to go ahead and actually do the contour part. 
So this is very important. I get like the bottom part of my brush and I just shade it over the dark. And then I just literally keep it short right on the cheek and it's gonna make it look like it's like my actual cheekbone. So I go like this. And I just shade in where a cheekbone would be and I create like that illusion. And then I go ahead and I start blending it out, but I keep it mostly up there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it the same with the other side. So today, since we're doing like a more rosy look and just like I said, more sunset vibes, I'm actually going to use the Morphe palette to pick out my blush. I'm going to go ahead and do my favorite thing, contour my nose. I'm going to go right back in with my K KW palette and I'm going to do the same exact color scheme that I did before, but I'm going to take this brush that's kind of like a flat brush. Okay, so this ties up my look. I went ahead and just put some bottom mascara on and took down my hair. So you would see I would normally like wear this with my hair down and then some curls um, or just even pin straight hair. I just really do love this look because it's not anything crazy and you can just go have dinner, enjoy and feel good about yourself. But yeah, this ties up my look. I'm so grateful for you guys watching. Please be patient with me. I am like not really good at talking to the camera at all, but hopefully I get a little bit better and I am having a lot of fun filming these videos for everyone. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something and I hope you recreate this look. Thank you guys. Bye.